born of necessity on the tides of history to give birth to American freedom. And then to move the wealth of the world wherever it is needed. Men and women who summon courage, make sacrifices, embrace the challenges, and fulfill the purpose. This is the U.S. Merchant Marine. There's zero, absolutely zero fear. No distance, no distance too far. A ship can be an inherently dangerous place if you don't know what you're doing and you are relying on other people, you're relying on their expertise. I think you're constantly in danger when you're working on a ship because anything can happen. You can fall off a ladder, something can blow. And you have to be trained and prepared and ready at any given second. You can't take an hour or a moment of sleep for granted. You have to be ready and prepared in your sleep. Beautiful day at sea is a real pleasure. Uh, when the weather gets nasty, it can be really miserable. It can make your day or it can uh, ruin your day. You get thrown out of bed, tossed and turned. You don't get no sleep. And when you don't get no sleep and you're tossing and turning, you still got to run the plant. Ships themselves are dangerous places. My leg's been shattered. I'm stealing it from here to here now. Uh, my back's been ruptured. My hand's been sliced up. Sometimes you have special circumstances too. For example, in pirate waters, you really have to keep a good lookout. Once your ship leaves the Suez Canal, you are in pirate waters. And every small boat that approaches you is suspect and there are a lot of small boats out there. You make a lot of sacrifices for your job. You're not around your family for months at a time. Uh, you miss birthdays, anniversaries. It's a big sacrifice to be out there on the waters. Just missing everything, man. You know, missing my parents. You know, uh, members in your family pass away. Say my son's all-star game. You know, my daughter's cheering practice. I j just missing them here, you know, say daddy. I understand the hardships. I know what it's like to deploy. I've deployed for uh, six months at a time. I'm, I'm gone uh, every year for at least six months, so I understand the hardships that that, that involves, uh, the problems uh, in raising a family. There's only us, water, sky, and the, the bodies that are on board that ship, and that number is small. But that is challenging for me. There's no calling 911 if you have a fire, um, if you have a, a problem with physical security, uh, if you have a medical emergency in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, you've got to attend to it yourself. In other words, there used to be, in my department, nine deckhands on license and now they're down to about five. Unless you're out there, man, and, and you've been through it, it's it's really hard to understand what it's like. You know, um, you got your good moments, sad moments, bad moments, and I'm not going to lie to you, moments you just want to get the hell off that ship. It's the fourth line of our national defense. After 9-11, I was on military ships that were running ammunition to our people overseas in the war zones. And I've also worked on food aid ships to uh, countries that were in desperate shape. We're the backup plan, basically. We're there. This is, this is a big responsibility. It's taught me how to be a man. This is the heart of the U.S. Merchant Marine. Voyaging over the waves, under the skies, into the ports that feed and fuel the needs of the world. A 
achieving what is only possible because of the purpose that fills the hold of a sailor's heart. This is the U.S. Merchant Marine. It's more than just a job. You have to realize that in one way or another, we need each other because we have a job that has to be done. I love being a merchant marine, actually. I well, love it. The most beautiful experience any human being can experience is being in, in the middle of the ocean and all you can see is nothing but sky and water. Going to sea will be a hard thing to give up. I know that. <laughs>